Hi, hello everyone. Good evening. Very good evening to all of you students and welcome to Ace Online. So today in this video, we are going to have a, an important discussion about the strategy for general awareness. Strategy for general awareness, SSC CGL Tier 1. I hope that you already watched the thumbnail, right? So in thumbnail, I mentioned that how to get 40 plus marks in SSC CGL, the Tier 1 examination. Is it it? So when you, when, you, when you prepare for any examination usually, so students will have an idea. So which topic we have to give more importance, which topic we should give the less importance, obviously students will have an idea. Sometimes students may ignore one particular topic, one particular section, because they are thinking that that is not at all useful, number one. Number two, they are thinking that that is very much difficult and to, to get the, uh, you know, to solve the questions or to get the marks, they are thinking that. Suppose I am here and uh, you know if I look there, there is a mountain, there is a lake, there is a mountain, there is a lake, there is a building, okay. Some long is there, some distance is there, I don't know how much distance is there. But looking at the mountain, looking at the building, looking at the lake, I said that you know it is a too much distance is there, I cannot go there. How come to know that? Whether it is 10 km, 5 km, 2 km, how you, come, how you can come to know that? Sometimes you can judge, but sometimes you cannot judge. So, my intention is very clear. So, by moving away from general awareness, you don't know that, you don't know that how much it is. So, many students are thinking that, you know, I will give importance to quant and arithmetic, that reasoning and English and I will ignore the general awareness. But you don't know that, how you can easily get the marks in the general awareness because you don't know about all, number one. You don't know about the syllabus and you don't know about the boundary. You don't know how they are framing questions in the examination. You don't know because you are ignorance. Ignorance is the one thing. You are ignoring at all. But remember that. So if you call for tier 1 only, you are able to read the tier 2. If everybody is thinking that, I will prepare for arithmetic, I will prepare for reasoning, I will prepare for English. Like we everybody thinking same. If everybody thinking same and you are going to get the good marks in arithmetic reasoning, other people also will get the good marks in arithmetic reasoning and the score will be equal. So who will get the advantage? The person along with arithmetic, along with reasoning, along with English and who will get some few marks in general awareness and he has an edge. The edge will decide everything. You know in IPL, one mark, the one no ball, you know that, the cast of one no ball in the cricket match, okay, like that. So one mark, you know, keep you away from job and you know, get closer to the job. So each and every mark is important. So apart from all these things, as you know that I told you, in general awareness, SSC, CGL Tier 1, we have 25 questions and 50 marks. I said that how to get the 40 marks. See, I am not going to do any magic. I am not going to do any magic. I am not going to do anything magical things in this video. Definitely no. So I am completely a practical person. I am completely a practical person. I am completely a student oriented only. So I am going to give you a practical awareness about the each and every subject. So what you can expect in this video, you are going to expect in this video, subject history party geography from each and every subject so what are the important topics how they are framing the question and where we need to focus so that we are able to get the at least minimum marks and which can lead to you tied to examination that is what you can expect in this session am i right to you am i clear to you so how to get this 40 films marks is it possible or not first look at the syllabus okay what are the advantage of general awareness which are discussed already I told you most of the questions are direct question. It is not like civil service examination, any other examination where you can expect the questions in a statement format. No, completely 95%, 9-10% questions are straightforward questions and direct questions. I said 9-10% straightforward direct questions. Okay, so, so that you are not going to deep in each and every. If you go to, for example, you know, history, there is a Buddhism. What you should know about the Buddhism? Who was the Buddha? The Buddha background. Buddhist meetings, that's it, that's enough. But you are not going to discuss what happened to Buddhism, how the Buddhism was declined, declined, what are the, how many reasons are there. So this kind of deep is not necessary. Questions are very straightforward. The examiner has a clear, he has a clear vision. What about you? Okay, he has a clarity, how he is framing questions. But as a student, do you have the clarity, how he is framing questions? You know, catching the pulse of the examiner is very, very important. Catching the pulse of the examiner, in the sense, Every year in CGL, Tier 1 General Awareness, how this examiner is framing questions in each and every subject. And if you catch that pulse, and definitely, and you are going to get the questions in the 
examination as you like you will get the marks also and once you get the marks you are going to get the job also am i right it will take less time because by you looking at the question you can give the answer and most of the questions are repeating yes in ss cgl questions is going to be repeat so that's why i'm always say that is very very important when you practice previous year questions you will get an idea how they are asking questions is number 1 and number 2 some questions are going to be repeated not exactly it is the concept is going to be repeated is it clear and most of the questions if you talk about the you know uh, polit if you talk about the economy geography science and technology biology physics chemistry they are asking questions on what very very basic concepts only straight forward basic concepts only so any person who want to get the 40 plus marks in 40 plus marks in general awareness first my clear cut idea is please learn basics basics only any subject especially in a biology physics chemistry geography economy you have to focus on very very basic thing you should know about what is dna what is rna what is cell what are the parts of the cell that's it but but read carefully but no each and every the basic details of the cell then only you are able to give the right answer so if anybody want to get the 40 plus marks please focus on only basic things only and the second thing second thing and we have to focus on the general knowledge as well as the current affairs also general knowledge and current affairs also i am going to teach you everything okay let us discuss so this is what the syllabus as part of general awareness history general science biology physics chemistry geography polity economy general knowledge and current affairs and art and culture of course art and culture which is a integral part of the indian history only so today next to 20 25 minutes i am going to tell you explain each and every subject and what are the important topics and how they are going to frame the question that is what you can expect for next 20 minutes am i clear to you let us discuss first about the so indian history indian history yeah good evening indian history the indian history consists the ancient medieval and modern three things are there but out of three which part you should give the importance sir yes modern history if at all they ask the question two question three question three or four questions and the top priority you should give from modern history only let us check the syllabus and let us get that priorities uh, first of all ancient indian history so this is a very vast syllabus about history by looking at this chapters please don't worry and don't panic and don't dial for 100 don't dial for 108 am i clear to you so look at by looking at this chapters don't worry okay if once you go to inside and you feel very happy am i clear to you right so indus valley civilization vedic aryan civilization buddhism jainism modern empire post modern empire gupta age post gupta arts and literature so these are the chapters of ancient indian history sir what they are asking sir from this one which chapter we should give the importance sir so in my opinion and you should give the top priority to gupta the first priority you should give gupta next priority you should give indus valley civilization and you should give the priority to modern empire you should give priority to buddhism jainism i am not saying that i am not saying that read only these four chapters no read each and every chapter priority before going to examination you know giving priority to this subject gupta that mauryan that buddhism jainism and indus valley civilization you should give top priority to them is it clear so from each and every chapter and how they are asking question that is very very important from each and every chapter indus valley civilization mainly they are asking questions about the cities that's it cities you know many cities are there in indus valley civilization so mohenj daro mohenj daro harappa dolavira lothal cities are there you should know that the city and on which bank it is and and on which bank of the river it was located for example umar harappa on the banks of mohenjodaro on the banks of like that they'll ask you question second thing in mohenjodaro in lothal what we found you know those are archaeological site i am right in archaeological site for example they'll ask you question so where the bronze dancing girl was found simple question the bronze dancing girl was found at a mohenjodaro b lothal like that which of the following is a port to city of indus valley civilization port to city in which of the following city the lipstick was found okay in which of the following city evidence of cat was found that's it that's enough nothing more than that about indus valley civilization and come to this uh, avedic aryan civilization 
some time they are asking some time they are not asking come to vedic or in civilization simply you should know about the rigveda yajurveda samaveda adharvana veda that's it so don't read don't read like me as a new student rigvedam yajurvedam sam not like that you should know what is simply rigveda what is yajurveda what is ajurveda what is there what is brahmana what is aranyaka what is mahabharata what is ramayana how many upavedas are there so uh, know the rigveda what is the content inside rigveda what is there that that that's enough that's it you are going to give the answer okay next to buddhism jainism yes repeatedly they are asking questions about the buddhism jainism so first year you should know that the buddhism background typically they are asking question buddha father name buddha mother name and buddha wife name and uh, what are the five events in buddha life okay which language used by buddhism what are the important books of buddhism okay and one more thing is you know where buddha got that enlightenment that is also they are asking questions and related to buddhism four phase two pasta are there in india two pasta are there that's it that is what they are asking questions and so uh, buddha background buddha family members okay number 1 where buddha was born where buddha was died how many meetings of buddha okay and what buddhism was preaching that's it that is enough okay buddhist literature important texts are there and come to jainism same vardhan mahavira was there vardhan mahavira father name mother name and he is the first disciple where vardhan mahavira and which tree got enlightenment where buddha got enlightenment where uh, maha vardhan mahavira was died okay right and what are the text related to jainism which language used by jainism that's it that's it man that is what 10 to 15 points are there okay right you, you are you are not preparing for civil examination where you are going to re read what are the reasons for the rise of buddhism what are the reasons for the decline of buddhism you know in detailed way that is not required have some interest first of all so one thing you should have is interest little bit interest so you should have a curiosity hey what is there what happened there who is this gandhi ji who is this subhas chandra bose so what they did hey what is this you have some curiosity you have, you have some interest so when you have the curiosity and interest you will try to know more you will try to remember more isn't it when you know this one when you have something on interest you will try to know more you are going to remember more when you don't have any interest when you don't have any curiosity you are not going to read even though you read and it is not going to fix in your mind so have some curiosity interest to know something in geography economy politics that is useful for once you become the cgl officer that this kind of knowledge will be useful for you is it clear so modern empire in modern empire you should know most important thing is ashoka so focus on ashoka focus on ashoka ashoka issued main number of inscriptions okay ashoka fought kalinga war so those inscriptions found in different place of india different place of india so they are clearly asking about the ashoka inscriptions that kalinga war and uh, which language they used which script they used okay those are basic questions about uh, mauryan empire and come to mauryan next to post mauryan is there uh, next to gupta age is there and come to gupta they are asking mostly questions about the kings they are they are asking questions about the kings ha kishor okay they are asking they mostly they are asking questions about the kings you know samudragupta chandragupta 1 chandragupta 2 and also kumar gupta and uh, you should know about uh, each and every time they are asking questions about the titles the king title uh, which of the following king is known as uh, napoleon of india okay like that they are asking questions about uh, kings they are asking questions about the inscriptions allahabad inscription issued by like that they are asking kings and questions that's it and in ancient time they are asking one more question and one more topic is there in post gupta period in post gupta period one of the important topic is that is called harshavardhan harshavardhan and uh, he is a ruler he is considered the last hindu ruler and he ruled the north india i can draw the map here so this is called harsha empire this is called harsha empire the person name is harshavardhan so they are asking repetitive questions asking about this harshavardhan and here we have a topic called chalukyas here we have a topic called pallavas so pallavas chalukyas harsha these are contemporary in nature so sometimes they are asking questions about desh harshavardhan under court of harshavardhan there was a person called bana bata who wrote a book called Ar uh, harsha charita so these are repeated questions most of the questions are very very repeated question come to badami chalukyas you heard name is called pulakeshi 1 pulakeshi 2 repeated they are asking questions about pulakeshi 1 pulakeshi 2 and come to pallavas are there if we talk about the pallavas they built mahabalipuram that is called mamallapuram china president also visited the repeated are asking questions about the what is mahabalipuram who built mahabalipuram that's it that is what they are asking questions is it clear okay sometimes they are asking question about the books the literature 
you know rajatarangani written by rajatarangani written by of course literature is very very vast uh, but while reading all these chapters you are going to remember which is part of it but in ancient india you have to you have, you have to more focus on that gupta the mauryan and indus valley civilization buddhism jainism and come to here what we are going to remember in history usually okay usually here ancient time one of the dynasty is there you should know founder of dynasty uh, in, in india uh, for example uh, badami chalukyas and there is a kingdom called rashtrakutas there is a kingdom called kalinga there is a kingdom called gupta and mauryan who was the founder of mauryan empire chandragupta maurya who was the founder of the gupta empire sri gupta okay like that every dynasty has a founder and last ruler in sscjl examination these basic questions are repeatedly asking in examination which may not in morning session which may ask in afternoon session which may ask in, in the third session i don't know which session you are going to write in one session in one session they may not ask but in second session they are going to be asked so when you are reading this ancient india medieval india focus on the founder of dynasty and last ruler of dynasty and uh, when you reading about the kings you should know about the titles also so which king is known as maharaja adi raja like that which king is known as napoleon of india which king is known as vikramaditya these are very very basic direct questions only so these questions also repeatedly they are asking and under which under king the writers are there for example everybody know the world famous writer kalidasa who wrote a book called abhijnana shakuntalam okay everybody knows that and there was a person called megasthenes who wrote a book called indiga there was a person called you know chanakya who wrote a book called ardhashastra like some famous uh, writers are there books are there try to remember that one okay and they are asking questions about the temples but most of the temples built in you know uh, especially you now medieval india uh, when the temple is there repeatedly they are asking questions about the temple this one question you can repeatedly they are asking so usually try to remember the jyotirlingas first very famous temples are jyotirlingas very famous temples are you know mahashakti peethas shakti peethas so try to know jyotirlingas try to know mahashakti peethas because these temples consist almost more than 30 40 temples only okay because repeatedly they are asking questions about they are not asking which is jyotirlinga not like that but main jyotirlinga temples are there where mahashakti temples are there please focus on that okay that is also very very important thing they are giving temple name number 1 and you have to identify the state or you have to identify the city so my sincere advice is uh, most of the temples located in a few states like that for example tamil nadu is there karnataka is there uttar pradesh is there madhya pradesh is there rajasthan is there in these states only you have many number of temples so try to go through these five temples five states and temples you are going to get at least two, two marks one question carry two marks is it clear this is about ancient next medieval history medieval history i told the same thing i repeat the same thing by looking at this syllabus don't worry did not worry simple thing for example islamic invasion islamic invasion muslims invade india everybody knows that so how many muslims invade india basically three persons are there the first muslim who invade india mohammed bin qasim the second person who invade india 17 times mohammed ghazni the third person who invade india and later is mohammed gor he is the first muslim who invade india this person invade india almost 17 times along with mohammed ghazni al biruni firdausi two travelers came to india okay and mohammed gor is the who is the person established the first islamic rule in india that was mohammed gor finish that's it nothing more than that so along with mohammed ghazni there was a writer called al biruni came to india who wrote a book called kitabul hind there was one more person called firdausi who wrote a book called shahnama that's it that nothing more than that next one this is islamic invasion delhi sultans come to delhi sultan dynasties are there so slave dynasty and next kilyu dynasty uh, next to tughlaq dynasty and next to sayyid dynasty next to lodi dynasty is there what you have to go and remember first thing is and the founder and last one of every dynasty so tughlaq dynasty founded by who giyasuddin tughlaq kilyu dynasty founded by jalaluddin kilji lodi dynasty founded by pahala lodi first you should remember is so these dynasties founders and last rulers that is one thing second thing is in every dynasty some important kings are there you have to focus on them for example slave dynasty kutubuddin aibak iltuma and balban and kilji dynasty main person is allahuddin kilji tughlaq dynasty main person is mohammed bin tughlaq repeatedly they are asking questions on mohammed bin tughlaq and reforms when some questions are repeatedly asking you have to you know read more and more depth about that person they are asking questions about the mohammed bin tughlaq his reforms his decisions like that next one is lodi dynasty the lodi dynasty was ended by which dynasty 
that Mughal. Who is that person? Babur. So Babur is the person who ended the Delhi Sultanate by defeating Ibrahim Lodi. That was called Battle of Panipat. That's it. Then you can see that Mughal Empire. You can see Mughal Empire. So and while discussing about this Delhi Sultanate, I told you about. Uh, remember the king name. And uh, the years are not important here. Years are not important. Remember the king name and what he has done. For example, which of the following Delhi Sultan introduced the Ikta system? That is called the uh, Iltmash. Okay, right. Which of the following Delhi Sultan declared himself as a so Jalilahi? Jalilahi means Shah of the God. That is called Balban. Simple question. Which of the following and uh, Delhi Sultan is known as Sikandari Sani? That is Allah Udin Kilji. And what I am talking is. Try to remember king name, his titles, and what he has done. If they introduce any new policy, you have to be remember. Come to, for example, Mughal Empire. Every person know kings. You know about the uh, first person is Babur, first person is Babur, second person Humayun, next person is uh, Akbar, next person is Jahangir, next person is Shah Jahan, and next person is Aurangzeb. These are the most important Mughal emperors. You know Babur. When you talk about the Babur, we remember Babri Masjid. We remember first battle of Panipat. When you talk, he has introduced the gunpowder and everything. When you talk about the Humayun, Humayun tomb is there. He was defeated by Sher Shah Suri. When you talk about the Akbar, many things are there. Out of all these Mughal emperors, you have to more focus. You should know very detail about the Akbar. Why tell me, sir? Because Akbar introduced many reforms. He introduced Sulaykal policy. He built Ibadat Khana. He, he built many things. He introduced new revenue policies, Jabti system, Dasal system, like this introduced. So my sincere advice is. Please read all the reforms initiated by all the wars fought by Akbar. He is very, very an important person. So Jahangir is when the British came to India, that was Jahangir. Repeatedly they are asking question about so which ambassador came to India during Jahangir. That they are asking. When you talk about the Shah Jahan, rule is nothing is there. Only one thing is constructions. He built many things that you know red fort, uh, that uh, Taj Mahal. You know Shah Jahan means constructions. Or when you talk about Aurangzeb, Aurangzeb, Aurangzeb means policies as well as the wars. He is the person who fought with Shivaji, defeated Shivaji. He is the person actually, uh, you know, uh, what we called killed the Shambhaji, the son of Shivaji, like that. Okay, and that he was Aurangzeb. He had some negative policies against Hindus. He abolished Jaja, like Jaja, introduced Jaja, like that. Simple, simple thing. Okay, come to Vijayanagara Empire. The asking question of Vijayanagara Empire also same five dynasties are there: Sangma dynasty, Salo dynasty, founder. That is enough. Founder and capacity. Six Devaraya. Come to Maratha. Shivaji is important, of course, and Peshwa is also important. Those are direct questions only. You know, Bajra one, Bajra two, Balaji Bajra. During which Peshwa, you know, second, third battle of Panipat was happened. Simple. Which Peshwa is known as second Shivaji? Simple questions are there. Okay, and they are asking in a SSC CGL or any central examination. They are asking question about the travellers. I will make a free video on travellers for you. Travellers. Many foreigners came to India uh, during. You know, uh, during Vijayanagara Empire time, during Delhi Sultanate, during Mughal's time, and many foreigners came to India from China, from Mongolia, and uh, from Europe. Many people, many travelers came to India. So when they came to India, they visited some king courts. They written some books. Uh, I, I told that just now there was a person called Megasthenes, a Greek ambassador, Megasthenes, and he visited India. He wrote a book called Indica, like that. So, but I observed that personally. In SSC JL examination, repeatedly they are asking question about the traveller who came from foreign country. They visited some different king's court. What do you remember? Person name, his country, his country. During which kingdom he visited India? During which year he visited India? If you wrote any book, try to re remember the book name. Am I clear to you? Okay. Come to Bhakti moment. Uh, you are not going to discuss everything like Bhakti moment. And uh, you know mantras and preaching, not like that. Simply, you, you should know who is Ramana Ramana Jocharya, who is Mira Bai, who is Kabir, which god they worshipped. That kind of thing is very very enough. Nothing more than that. Bhakta to karam. Okay, right. So Dvaita Siddhanta, Advaita Siddhanta, Vishistha Advaita Siddhanta, five Siddhanta are there. You, you should remember who founded Dvaita Siddhanta, who founded Advaita Siddhanta, who founded Vishistha Advaita Siddhanta. These are good questions, man. Very very easy to remember. And come to modern history. Modern history also syllabus is very very used, but uh, you should not worry about the modern history. The questions are very very straightforward questions only. Is it clear? If you talk about the advent of Europeans, they are asking about the governors only. First who came to India? First who left India? Headquarter 
and who was the real founder of portuguese empire who was the real founder of the british empire in india the, those basic things are there nothing more than that so first to on the behalf of portuguese who came to india on the behalf of east india company who came to india those are direct questions only british conquest in the sense just to wars what they are asking if you talking about the wars for example take the example 1757 battle of plassey and 1764 battle of buxar here three carnatic wars happen 1746 to 1750 uh, you know three like that uh, carnatic wars are there here we have four anglo mysore wars here we have three anglo maratha wars here we have anglo sikh war that's it so battle of plassey battle of buxar three carnatic wars four anglo mysore wars three anglo maratha wars two anglo sikh war these are the war that thing so sometimes they are asking question about so first anglo maratha war won by or during first anglo maratha war who was the governor general who was the governor general defeated tipu sultan okay battle of plassey when the battle of plassey was happened and who was on the behalf of uh, british east india company who led the british east india company during battle of plassey who led the british east india company during battle of buxar simple thing whenever the war was happened you have to remember between whom it was happened between who which process it was happened that's it that is what they are asking questions okay that is what they are asking in uh, history uh, next to british policies like uh, governor general you have to focus on governor general you know sipari world they are asking question so in national movement mostly they are asking questions about the person slogans organizations only i, I, I wrote here most of the time in uh, modern history they are asking question about organization organization in the sense brahma samaj founded by veda samaj founded by deccan society founded by congress party founded by swaraj party founded by those questions that questions mostly they are asking questions about organizations and founders and later they are asking questions about the revolt sipai revolt you know pabna revolt okay uh, you know tribal movement, especially the peasant revolts are there farmer revolts are there that is what they are asking now they are asking questions about the movements home rule movement started by non cooperation movement started by dandi satyagraha started by uh, in which year kutna movement was happened in which year non cooperation movement was happened in which year bengal partition was happened so whenever the important event is there you have to remember the two points in which year the revolt the movement was happened number 2 who started the movement number 3 where it was started the last year question dandi satyagraha launched by gandhi ji in which year dandi satyagraha launched okay uh, where dandi satyagraha was launched so whatever the movement is there revolt is there you have to remember the year the person the place why those four are enough nothing more than that is it clear and they are asking questions about the persons also uh, slogans also do or die said by delhi chalo delhi chalo okay inkilab jindabad inkilab jindabad give me your blood i will give the independence some very famous slogans are there they are repeatedly asking questions about those very famous slogans is it clear to you and you know titles also there who is known as you know uh, what we called uh, father of india father of indian economy like that father of local self government father of local self government father of civil service uh, these are very very basic things uh, that that is what i am telling that most of the students are thinking that you know history is very difficult come to modern history i'll challenge to you modern history so from 1900 to 1947 whatever the incidents have happened remember year wise year wise in the sense so bengal partition 1905 for example janaganamana 1911 for example home rule movement 1916 like that non cooperation movement 1920 so try to remember the instances 1900 to 1947 this phase is very very important in overall modern history in entire modern history this phase should be given the top priority okay reading history is different and reading history in examination point of view is different where you are going to get the success where you are going to save the time is it clear to you okay just i'm uh, i'm talking about some questions in history i'm going to explain the subject as well as questions also which of the following statement is about dana saraswati incorrect is asking question about dana saraswati which is incorrect he was the author of the book satya prakash he was the founder of arya samaj his birthplace was gujarat he was the founder of brahma samaj any person who read his history once time he can give the answer think don't think about these things elimination simple thing they asked incorrect simply they asked to brahma samaj who found Bra- brahma samaj everybody knows that raja ram mohan rai so this is wrong that's it straight away you can go for the answer which among the following had written the 
Kitabul Hind that gave an incisive description of early 11th century India. Just now I told you, these are previous questions, not my questions. Okay, because this is an evidence. What I am expanding as a faculty, I am explaining with evidence. I am not misleading any kind of students here. I am not doing any magic here. I am going in a practical way. So if you want to get 40 plus marks and each every subject, where you have to focus, that is what I am telling. And this is evidence which are already asked in the previous examination. So they are asking question about the book, the given book name and who is the writer. The answer is Alberoni. Why Alberoni, sir? Actually, these three persons are you know not known to us. I mean, not famous at all. He is the person actually who came to India along with Gajni. Just now I told you. I told you focus on travelers. I told what I told you, whenever the travel came to India, you should remember the traveler name, his country name, and which dynasty he visited, and if he wrote any book. So Alberoni is a traveler actually and wrote a book called Kitabul Hind. He came to India along with Gajni. In next exam, they'll ask you a question. Alberoni visited India along with A, B, C, D, Gajni. Yes, Alberoni visited India along with Gajni from which country? That is the second question. Okay, right. So that's what I'm telling. Again, there is a question about the Alberoni, but this time different way, different way. Is it clear to you? That's why I'm asking, please go through the previous questions. Based on previous questions, learn something about the options. Who among the following was one of the founders of the Hindustan Republic Association? I told you, in modern history, they're asking questions on organizations. Hindustan Republic Association was founded by, you know, Chetinath Mukherjee, Ram Prasad Bismil, Suresen, Lal Lajpat Rai. You know, Lal Lajpat Rai was part of Congress party, uh, uh, he was part of the Congress party. Uh, he fought along with against the Simon Commission. Suresen was founded on another organization, you know, Indian Republican Army. He is the person who founded the Indian Republican Army. Okay, uh, Jatindranath Mukherjee, he is also a fighter, but not about this one. The answer is Ram Prasad Bismil. So in 1924, 1924, at Kanpur, he was founded the Hindustan Republic Association. Okay, and the same Hindustan Republic Association became the HSRA. HSRA later. In which of the following year was the second roundtable conference was held in London? So there are three roundtable conferences are there. So 1931, 1931 to 1932, three. Three roundtable conference. The simple the answer is second roundtable conference is 1931. You can eliminate actually. You can simply eliminate if you read the history. Because roundtable conference happened in 1930. So you remember that 1930s. So 1940 cannot be. And 1925 cannot be. So, you remember that 1930, 31, 30, like confusion is there. Okay. And you can straight away go for 1931. See, sometime, if you read uh, the basics at once time, even if you don't know the correct answer, you will get the answer. Suppose you read the round table conference, but you don't have confidence that it may be 1931, 32, 33. You don't have a clarity. But look at the options. Look at the options. That you remember that it must be 1932, 34, 35, like that only. It cannot be answered, it cannot be answered, it cannot be answered. Straight away, this is the answer. That is the magic in general awareness. That's why you have to read the general awareness at least once so that you can eliminate. Sometimes, even though you don't know the right answer, you can get the right answer when you have the basic idea about each and every subject because you can use the elimination process. By this elimination process, out of 25, you can solve at least 3, 4 minimum. 3, 4 minimum. 3, 4 minimum means 3 into 2, 6 marks. 4 means 8 marks. You are going to get the 6 marks, 8 marks very easily. This is what way students are ignoring. Who among the following assassinated Sir William Hurt Karjan Willie in London? This is about, you know, Bhagat Singh Rajguru, all these people. So who was, uh, you know, killed the, uh, you know, that was person is. So Sukhdev Thapar, you know, Bhagat Singh Rajguru Sukhdev, three persons hanged to death, no. Suresen was hanged in India only. Just now I told you, he was hanged in India only. And Kudiram Bose, Kudiram Bose was hanged to death in India by British government. He was hanged to death. The answer is Madan Nal Dingra. Okay, he was uh, uh, hanged in Delhi because he is a person who went to uh, London, killed a British official. In which of the following language did Jyoti Bapule write to Gulamgiri? So he was given the book, he was given the other name. In which language? Everybody, if you read the history carefully, for example, and you know that Jyoti Bapule Gondra Pule born in Maharashtra. Born in Maharashtra. If you born in Maharashtra, it may not be Gujarati. It may not be Gujarati. Okay. Uh, it may it may be English, Marathi, and Hindi. Uh, you can say that at that point of time, maybe he is not that much of uh, you know uh, having a, a good command on English. So it may be Marathi, it may be Hindi. Because it's Maharashtra, we can take the you know risk. Sometimes you can take the risk. 50-50. The answer is Marathi. Real answer is also Marathi. Like that. But how can you guess this question? Tell me. Because 
You remember that Jyotiba Pole was belongs to Maharashtra like that only. That's it. Who among the following rulers called Nepon of India? I told you titles. Which ruler is called Nepon of India? So the answer is straight away Samudra Gupta. Samudra Gupta called Nepon of India. In Ashoka, Ashoka, Ashoka called Devana Ampiya Piyadasi Lazza Magade. And Bindusara, he considered to be the first king of India, that was the Bindusara. And Chandragupta I, who was known as the Raja the Raja. That is was history. Next we will move to polity. So come to polity, it is a limited subject. Polity is a limited subject. Okay. And from the polity, what are the questions are there? Polity means constitution, constitution means polity. So this is the total constitution. So total topics here mentioned. Nothing but called all the topics or basic concepts were mentioned here. You know, preamble, union territory, citizenship of India, fundamental rights, fundamental duties, DPSP, union executive state. This is a limited is there. But when you are preparing for CGL examination, remember that you also stick to confined to basics only. Nothing more than that. First of all, you have to focus on some important articles. Here they are asking questions and articles. Sir, is it necessary to remember more than 300 articles? No. Try to focus on main persons, main person in the sense, especially here, the President of India, the Governor, the Vice President, President of India, Governor, the Vice President, the Vice President, Election Commissioner, Election Commissioner, is it clear? Okay, uh, the Chief Minister, that's it. Focus on main things, no need to remember all the articles. So, President, Vice President of India, the Governor, so these things you have to be more focused. Some institutions are there, for example, Finance Commission is there. Finance Commission is there, Election Commission is there, Finance Commission, Election Commission, okay. And some of these are, are, are institutions are there, so please focus on that. Please focus on that. That's enough. That's enough. Second thing is, in, in polity, you have to also focus on the same thing, the President of India, the Vice President of India, the Governor, the Governor, the Chief Minister, the Lok Sabha Speaker, the Lok Sabha Speaker, and Attorney General, Attorney General. So please focus on these people. Because repeatedly, most of the time, they're asking questions on CGL regarding Indian polity about the president. So, president appointed by, vice president appointed by, president elected by, the powers of president, the powers of Lok Sabha speaker, who appoint Lok Sabha speaker, Lok Sabha speaker can be removed by, CM can be removed by. I mean, when you talk about these persons, try to remember the articles number one. And number two is, who appoints them, who removes them, how they are removed. That's it. Most of the questions are like this only. Remember the articles number one. Second thing is who, how they appointed, how they removed. If they want to give resignation, to whom they are going to be give the resignation. This is what you have to focus. President, Vice President, Governor, CM, Lok Sabha Speaker and also Attorney General. This is what you have to be focused. Out of, if they ask three questions from party, one question must be from that one only. So this is one area you have to focus. Second thing, repeatedly they are asking questions is fundamental rights. That fundamental rights is also very, very important. Articles, fundamental rights, right to equality, you know, right to equality, right to freedom, right to equality, right to freedom, right to freedom of religious. Those articles, sir, you can buy it very easily. No problem at all. Whenever we conduct a polity session, where we are going to discuss about how to prepare for polity also. The question, along with questions. Is it clear to you? So like fundamental rights, fundamental duties, uh, they are asking questions about the parliament terminology, sometimes parliament terminology. So what is zero hour, what is zero hour, what is question hour, basics only, completely basics only. Is it clear? Okay, and also the features of Indian constitution, which of the following is a feature of Indian constitution, which of the following is not a feature of Indian constitution, what is federalism, so what do you mean by union executive, okay, what do you mean by unitary system, some basic terminology man, nothing more than that. You can go through the previous question, you can understand. They are asking here also some basic concepts only, nothing more than that. This is not like civil service examination where you are going to deep, deeper, deepest of uh, syllabus. No. So, confined to only examination and prepare according to the questions only. Is it clear to you? Okay. Now, take the example one or two questions. Vice President of India is elected for a period. For every, you know, for every position, there is a period, right? The chief minister is elected for. Once a person elected as a chief minister, can you think that he will be chief minister forever? Definitely no. There is called tenure. Tenure. Is it clear? So, you have to maintain the table like this. Let me tell you. Table like this. Even available in the market also. So, for example, Prime Minister. What is the article? Prime Minister, minimum age and maximum age. Prime Minister, minimum age, maximum age. Prime Minister, his tenure. How many years? 
prime minister appointed by prime minister give resignation to like that simple so prime minister the president vice president governor this is the table from this table you will get 50 questions so for example vice president what is the article vice president what is the minimum age vice president what is the maximum age vice president give resignation to from this table only there is one question guarantee two marks guarantee that's it simple man you should know you should know not about the focus you should know about way to focus that is the important okay so vice president tenure is how many years 5 years so which of the following article of the constitution of india state that there will be vice president of india simple question the question is about the vice president of india article okay the answer is here 75 56 45 63 so can we go with elimination sir if you don't remember exactly okay so you, you simple that the 45 is not talking about the vice president that is related to dpsp the chapter related to dpsp 74 75 remember that is about the prime minister council ministers only two things are there 56 and 63 the answer is 63 simple article question article 21a of the constitution of india provides right to the given article you have to identify the article belongs to article 21 right to work right to privacy right to equality right to education this very very silly question direct question the answer is right to education 21a the right to education is it clear to you okay so next that is what polity so polity you have to focus on i told you some persons you have to focus or nations you have to focus the fundamental rights you have to focus the parliament terminology okay so next one is uh, festival dance folk uh, folk arts unesco sites paintings and architecture so this area you are where you there is a chance to get almost to, Uh, you know from art and culture together art and culture they are asking almost to 3 to 4 questions they are asking almost to 3 to 4 questions so in the sense almost you are going to get 6 marks you are going to get the or 8 marks so 6 to 8 marks you will get from this art and culture together it can be part of the history also it can be part of the history also but i am separating separating so come to festivals sir i know sir i know ramzan festival i know deepavali festival no 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 they don't ask you about the this kind of festival everyone knows that festivals in the sense usually every state will have some unique festivals every state right so you should know recently which festival was happened current issues recently which state festival festival was happened that is number 1 and number 2 you know for example new year we celebrate new year on january 1st but in different states different people celebrate in a different way about the new year you should know that for example maharashtra we have a festival called gudi padva that is welcoming the new year is it maharashtra is it clear to you okay so like that festivals every state will have a different festival so try to remember so dance dance means not that you are club dance not your that uh, you know mass dance there are two types of dance are there one is called classical dance classical dance second one is called folk dance classical dance folk dance classical dance in the sense we know that classical dance everybody know that bharatanatyam kuchipudi Uh, kathak kathakali mohiniyattam mohiniyattam uh, and also satriya and also the manipuri and also chau so these are some classical dances limited are there and the classical state that is okay and folk dance means so uh, in every state will have some important folk dance are there for example dandiya dandiya is a folk dance gusadi is a, for example a folk dance so some kind of uh, folk dance are there try to remember the folk dance these are repeated don't worry these are repeated questions only so like that and unesco world heritage site everybody knows that so unesco uh, you know identified many sites in india as world heritage site so recently they given and also earlier they also given but your uh, uh, thing is you know try to and which uh, you, uh, city or which area was given unesco world heritage center even though they given 5 years back 10 years back there are there are sometime they are asking questions also and also paintings okay paintings it does not mean that you have to go through all the paintings in india no not like that so painting in the sense sometime maybe there is a, a painter in can be in the news some painting can be in the news maybe as part of current affairs or when you read there some dynasty for example when you read the mughal empire when you read the mughal empire you going to discuss he is a famous painter he is a famous painter like that so that is also part of the art and culture current affairs also architecture of course architecture in the sense i told you hindu temples i told you hindu kajraho temples where the kajraho temple was located 
is it clear where the tanjore temple was uh, located tanjore 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 temple was located okay so they will give you temple name you have to identify the city name or you have to identify the or maybe state name if the temple on the banks of river try to remember the uh, river name also that is what they are asking taj mahal uh, qutub minar uh, red fort red fort so this kind of question they are asking but from this one you are going to get 68 marks so you have to remember this one let me show you see these are some cult classical dance mohiniattam kathak kathakali kuchipudi manipuri mohiniattam was repeated odissi satriya chauj so these are classical dance so these are the folk dances in different states folk dances i am giving an idea man for example chapeli dance gumar 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 there is a song rajasthan gumar okay uh, like that rajasthani folk dance lur dance lur dance in haryana baisakhi dance in punjab okay bhanora dance okay right uh, like some dance are there class uh, folk dance in every state and also i told you about the festivals also the dance also folk dances if you talk about the west bengal here one kind of dance is there so in goa there is dance called fugdi dance maharashtra lavani dance is there maharashtra gumar dance rajasthan bhangra punjab rof tomal kudi that is called jammu and kashmir look at the map man you can understand so this is a one time investment only yeah, at least you can go for elimination suppose you remember gumar you remember gumar 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 some question was asked to some state one of the option is gumar they asked a question about the chatisgarh folk dance one of the option is gumar you remember that gumar is not belongs to chatisgarh you can eliminate it sometime when you have the minimum idea basic knowledge about the subject at least that knowledge can be used for elimination so because that you can get the answer so like festivals also see pedda panduga pongal tamil nadu uh, uh, makara sankrama so like that uttarayan lohri lohri uh, mag bihu some festivals like that arts i told you paintings paintings okay in lay the first ever ice climbing festival was celebrated in the la la valley uh, january 2021 this is current affair question and culture question so they asked question about the first ever ice climb festival what is the festival dras festival marka festival ripchar festival the answer is the nubra festival just i'm giving an idea which of the following festival is celebrated in the month of august september which of the following festival is celebrated in the month of august to september august to september which festival makara sankranti no makara sankranti is celebrated in the month of january definitely no so bikaner festival definitely no bikaner festival summer kite festival usually kite festival is also uh, usually in in the month of january only that is called onam festival that's it clear very simple question that question whenever you read about festival festival name when they are going to celebrate which state is going to be celebrated that's it you know need to celebrate the festival just read the festival so jado patiya is a form of popular in the state of jharkhand so jado patiya what is that is it a painting is it a music is it a sculpture is it a dance simple the given the name you have to identify if you remember already if you go through already some important dances some important things you can use elimination you can use elimination is it clear to you next to science of course from science they'll ask you more number of question which includes biology physics and also science and technology okay but in biology physics chemistry also you have to follow basics i told that so please go through school level only school level only you have to stick to confine to very very basics only when you talk about the cell so know about the cell the cell structure is there the chromosomes are there the dna is there rna is there so uh, and but read carefully but read carefully and try to remember those basics in a in a in a simple manner in a great manner so what the question they are asking repeatedly they are asking questions about the vitamins and the dcs and the dcs you know dcs in the sense what you remember don't remember that i remember i know sir cancer aids i know no not like that you have to know for example there is a dcs dengue is there dengue is caused by how dengue is caused how malaria is caused or how plague is caused is it by a parasite is it by parasite is it by bacteria or virus like that try to know so this is name how the disease was caused that is that is what very very important and uh, you know about the cell repeatedly they are asking question about the cell human body also repeatedly they are asking question about the, you know last time they asked question about the kidney within the kidney you know was some structure is there the kidney structure 
those basics we already studied in our school days. Have interest on that. The questions are confined to basics only. And plan structure also. And come to physics, you know, they are asking questions about the units. Yes, you have to remember the units also. The unit of speed, the unit of sound. They, those are basic things you study in school days. But they are asking same questions only. School days questions only. You should know about the magnet, okay, about the light, about the light, the light properties, okay, and uh, the father's, uh, father's means which father, whose father, you should know, father, father of physics, uh, you know, for every uh, study there is a father, right, Start, try to know about the father, and also founders, x-ray, you know, inventors, inventions, I'm sorry, so x-ray was invented by, x-ray was invented by, you know, who uh, come to know about this malaria, who first discovered about this malaria is caused by a mosquito, the, those kind of things, those discoveries, those inventions, everybody they are asking, everybody they are asking. Father of Ayurveda, father of homeopathy, those fathers and invention, that's it. One time investment. Next to daily life events, you should know some daily life events, they are asking questions daily, we are using the toothpaste for example, we are using the soap, okay, and the formulas they are asking sometimes, basic formulas, not all chemical formulas. Basic formula they are asking, defense, ISRO things, let us to ISRO launches, let us to defense equipments, you know, missiles are there, Agni missile, or those part of current affairs actually, those part of current affairs. So try to know ISRO defense organizations, their headquarters. ISRO is having many organizations, uh, defense also related to many organizations are there, their headquarters are there, they are repeated asking questions. Am I clear to you? So this is example, I am showing the question, I am showing the question. So, vitamin A, vitamin D12, vitamin C, vitamin D. So, they are given the for alternative name. Vitamins alternative name. Vitamins and the deficiency of vitamin cause some certain disease, like that. Common name of the compound of CaO, Cl2. Common name of the compound. Everybody knows that, that uh, you know, is it a bleaching powder or a baking soda? The SI unit of acceleration, I told you just now. SI unit of acceleration. What is that? SI unit of acceleration? I can give the answer, so meter per second square. Which of the following has the same dimension as that of linear, linear momentum? So this is basic physics. Which of the following has the same dimension that of linear momentum? Linear momentum, you know, stress, energy, work, impulse. So in the physics, you are going to learn some basic things about the energy and work. The answer is impulse. Which of the following statement about cell uh, cycle? Cell cycle is false. It is about the uh, cell. Preparation of, I am not reading everything, but I just am giving an idea, okay. Uh, in what form is the energy derived, derived from the food that we eat is stored in our body? This is very, very simple question, daily life question, it is a, uh, you know, right. So, whenever we eat something food and that food be, we stored in on our body. Is it as a maltose, it is a glucose, it is a glycogen, is it a starch? It is a glycogen. Identify the correct statement about inertia. Inertia. Okay, the basic in physics, greater the mass, greater the inertia, lesser the weight, greater the inertia, lesser the mass, greater the inertia, greater the mass, lesser the inertia. As a student, if you read something about this, you know, about the energy, about the work, the physics class, you can give the answer. This is basic question. These are very written recent questions only. And come to economy. Most of the time in economy, and uh, they are asking questions about the basic concepts only. All are basic concepts only. Simply, what is the GDP? How they measure the GDP? That's enough. What is GDP, GNP? What is national income? That basic definitions are enough. And so, types of economy, types of markets, types of goods, unemployment, inflation, only basics. I told you, only basics. All are basic concepts only. If you go through the last 10 year questions, they're asking all basic questions. Try to know the definition. What is deflation? How deflation? What is inflation? How the inflation happens? That's it. Deflation, inflation, unemployment, types of unemployment, types of capital, types of goods, for example, types of money. What is fiat money? What is narrow money? What is broad money? Okay, uh, what is the primary market? What is the secondary market? What is the stock market? All are definitions only. So once you go through all these basic definitions, you will get a concept of clarity. Any question they ask you can go for elimination. That is what I am selling that. Economy. So types of economy, types of market, types of goods. Okay. And the plannings are there, they are asking questions sometimes about banking, what is repo rate, what is reverse repo rate, what is the role of central bank, what is RBI, who regulates this banking sector, and some organizations also there, basic idea, uh, I told you about what is RBI, uh, what is NOBAD, what is National Statistical Office, what is NSS, basic things, in which are they established, 
what is their role for example what is the role of sebi sebi is there irdi is there irdi is there stock market regulated by sebi only irdi is going to regulate the insurance basic things basic organizations that's it nothing more than that choose the correct pair from following the wrong options correct pair from following the wrong options so given the wrong you have to identify the one right one third fire plan uh, what is the target and fourth fire plan what is the target and first fire plan what is the target second fire plan and what is the target you know first fire plan they mostly focus on agriculture second year fire, fire plan they focus on industries like that you have to remember every fire plan the target like that which of the following is not the function of the central bank of the country which of the following not function rb nothing but rb it controls money supply for the country correct it acts a bank to the government correct it acts a deposit from public wrong common sense do you think the reserve bank of an acts of deposit from public no simple thing hsg promote the you know lengthy question is there but the only they asked is shg what is h what is tell me self help groups simple question sometimes simple questions also there next is geography in geography also you have to confine to uh, of course here you have to remember the data same concepts and data so first basic things about you should know about the atmosphere you know different types of layers are there you know stratosphere mesosphere like that you know what happened in stratosphere what happened in uh, asthenosphere uh, mesosphere you know ionosphere where the flights will you know fly and uh, radiation will go and come back okay where the maximum weather is there where the minimum weather is there uh, basic things we study in our school days okay when when you you know go up the temperature increase or decrease pressure increase or decrease that's it that kind of things you know they are asking questions about the types of rocks this repeated question igneous rock metamorphic rocks okay sedimentary rocks which are the following example of sedimentary rock which are the following example of igneous rock simple simple questions are there okay they are asking questions about the volcanoes three types of volcanoes are there and any volcano is existed in india recently any volcano is erupted they are asking question recently some volcano was in the news in which country is located which is part of the current affairs only Now next is simple. Repeat. They are asking questions about the dams and rivers. If you talk about the river, for example, uh, there is river called Yamuna River is there, and Brahmaputra River is there, Godavari River is there. What you are going to remember? Simply river name. In which state is it has origin? In which city is going to be end? What are the tributaries are there? If famous dams are there, you have to remember. That's nothing more than that. So origin, end, tributaries, and uh, if dams are there, important dams are there. They are asking questions about the lakes also. we don't have you know we are not going to remember thousands of lakes some important lakes are there okay and they are asking questions about the mountains and minerals remember they are asking question about the minerals also you know copper copper bauxite bauxite manganese iron iron ore is there so in which which state is largest producer of uh, producer of iron ore uh, which state is largest producer of copper which state which those are common questions okay but this is repeated questions national parks sanctuaries which are recently in the news okay they are asking questions about that ports also which of the following is east port which of the following is the west port and try to remember some famous cities also for example hyderabad on the banks of which river agra on the banks of which river like that they are asking questions general knowledge this is general knowledge from general knowledge also four to five questions are there right so just to give an example one slide you get information so see here for example igneous rocks how igneous rock formation what are the characteristics of igneous rock what are the types of igneous rock what are the example granite is example of igneous rock the last question in next examination granite is example of a b c d igneous metamorphic uh, sedimentary none of this what is that granite is a igneous rock like that so uh, dor ditorite huh? like that uh, sedimentary rock is there so sandstone is sedimentary rock sandstone iron ore rock salt coal is a sedimentary metamorphic rock is there slate genies okay marble so these are which rocks these are the metamorphic rocks if you read this kind of things at one side you are going to give the answer this is where students are lacking so dams in india map is there go through remember the dams map so ganga river is there what are the dams through go through the map you can't go you go and remember easily which of the following is highest quality of coal the different types of coals are there which coal is having the highest quality of coal So when you remember the coal in a SSCL point of view, coal. Okay, where the coal reserves are available, which state is having highest coal? Number one, producer as well as reserve. First question. 
second question was or third question which state is the leading producer fourth question what are the different types of coals are there and which is the important coal mines are there like that so the answer is anthracite see this is what types of coal so we have peat lignite bituminous coal anthracite coal anthracite coal is the highest quality coal peat is the lowest quality which of the following is a process in which hot less dense materials the rise upward and are replaced by colder more dense material and by reading this one many people are think that is very difficult question very very easy question in geography in geography you are going to remember in physics also you are going to remember temperature pressure temperature pressure atmosphere and you are going to remember the rainfall you are going to discuss about the rainfall what are the different types of rainfall okay so it is nothing but the answer is convection what is the conduction tell me transfer of heat you know one to other that is called conduction condensation everybody knows that radiation everybody knows that so convection that is convection rainfall convection rainfall is it clear the channel of canal where the water is forced to flow against the slope of land upliftment this is very very silly question so they are asking simple question a, a, a channel of canal where the water is forced to flow against the slope so usually what happen tell me so this is the slope for example this is a slope for example the water flow like this only but here the water is flowing against to against the slope by lifting and what we called lift channel lift irrigation lift channel basic things which of the following river rises in the indian himalayas they are given four rivers himalayas which river has just now i told that whenever you read a river you should know the origin the origin the state or whatever may be okay i told you that so gandak gagra yamuna kosi so which of the following river rises in the himalayas indian himalayas the answer is yamuna yamuna simple question in which of the following states anchar lake is located i told you lakes lakes same important lakes are there right you have to practice the questions when you practice the questions when you write the test series you get an answer the jammu and kashmir which of the following place is famous for copper mine you know i told you about the metals copper mine satna gaya Kyonjar, Khetri. Khetri mines is very famous for co uh, copper in Rajasthan. Khetri mines. Uh, Bhagmara pitcher plant sanctuary located. He given sanctuary. These are all previous questions only. So they are asking question about the state name. That is Meghalaya. Okay, next they are asking questions about the persons, founders, and first. These are repeated question. I am seriously talking about you, talking about talking with you. Please remember the list of prime minister. list of president of india and list of vice president of india this is very very important you have to remember all these persons immediately at any cost so try to remember all the prime ministers presidents vice presidents in order that is very very important the last which are the following not worked as a prime minister worked as a prime minister not worked as a president of india repeated questions are there and at the same time first to supreme court judge of india first to supreme court judge okay first election commissioner first attorney general these are also repeated questions yeah repeated questions one time investment right persons the founders i told you first first thing first women governor first women congress party president first women chief minister especially women first women congress president and we sent first women governor first women chief minister okay first election commissioner okay first law commission first supreme court judge these are repeated questions here Okay, which of the following folk dance forms does not belong to the state of Gujarat? So they given four folk dances. One is which is not belong to Gujarat. Garba, everybody knows that. Okay, Garba, Dandiya. Okay, so which one? Just I'm showing the question. I'm not going to discuss all the things. I'm going. Th this class importance is not to discuss the question. I want to show that practically what exactly syllabus, how they are framing questions, and where you are missing. and uh, how you are able to get the easy questions and easy marks by reading this one which among the following replaced do muraji deshai as a pm of india in 1979 in 1970 which who among the following replaced muraji deshai replaced to muraji deshai tomorrow the last question and uh, who was the prime minister of india after indira gandhi the last question who was the prime minister of india in 1995 the last question so which prime minister of india also worked as a chief minister the last you which prime minister which president of india also worked as a lok sabha speaker which president of india also worked as a vice president simple question for this purpose you have to remember 
list of prime minister list of president list of vice president try to know some basic things during which prime minister you know in kargil war was happened during which prime minister indo china war was happened which prime minister given slogan j vigyan like that try to know about the prime ministers like that okay charan singh the answer is charan singh okay who among the following was the founder of homeopathy i told you about that founder of homeopathy this one a german person the ran utsav is organized which of the following state you know if you watch the tv regularly that is added by amita bachchan ran utsav ran utsav which state rajas gujarat gujarat and they are asking questions about international organizations so frequently they are asking questions about the international organization headquarter this is a most repeated question who head quarter uh, you know icc head quarter fikki head quarter rrb head quarter unicef head quarter repeatedly they are asking the silly questions about the head quarter especially any organization is news you have to remember sometimes they are asking questions about the summit also for example take the example of g20 g20 2023 is going to be held in india so 2022 and 2024 remember the last year meeting present year meeting future year meeting like that we have what is there g7 is there g20 is there and also uh, we have uh, you know asian summit is there sark summit is there shanghai cooperation organization is there summits sometimes the last year about the reports also uh, a report released by niti ayog report name like that if some index is there, for example some index is there you ought to remember global terrorism index what is the rank of india world happiness index what is the rank of india any international rank is there you ought to remember the rank and awards also recent awards you know we have different awards for example so bharat ratna award repeatedly they are asking even though bharat ratna is not given recently repeatedly they are asking question youngest recipient of bharat ratna award like that so which musician got the bharat ratna award who was the first bharat ratna awardee who was last bharat ratna awardee which prime minister received bharat ratna award same simple repeated questions only padmi bhushan padma bhushan so this is 2023 they all given padmi bhushan padma bhushan padma shri there is a chance to ask the question their state their profession okay like that uh, military award uh, literature award any any award which is in the news there is a chance to ask the question who among the following is a padmi bhushan award in 2021 padmi bhushan award are they given four names who was the given padmi bhushan award this is a previous question which of the following state won the national award for best electoral practice is also award about the state and the last question about the books this one of one area repeatedly they are asking question out of 25 question most of the time in every session there is one question about the book most of the questions are recent released number one questions are maybe autobiography autobiography maybe which is part of history also schemes also they are asking uh, subtle scheme they are asking state schemes for example uh, take the example recently one sikkim government is there they launched a very very special scheme for example that in the news you have to go through it so as part of current affairs try to remember not only central government schemes for state government scheme which is very very special which is very very unique they'll give you a scheme name they'll identify so recent this scheme launched by which state like that so mission kushal karmi was launched to upgrade the skills of construction workers launched by the government of the given scheme name you want to identify the state and uh, sports also sports in the sense which is part of the current affairs only you know come to sport there are four year sports are there you know four year sports in the sense olympics four years fifa world cup four years okay commonwealth games four years asian games four years and cricket world cup cricket world cup four years like that you have to remember the venues for example next to summer olympics games next to winter olympics games next to youth olympic games next to fifa world cup next to commonwealth games next to asian games next to oda world cup you have to remember the venues first most important thing is venues present venue future venue you have to be remember because two marks two marks and sports organizations headquarters icc headquarters for example uh, fifa headquarters uh, indian olympics association headquarters you have to be remember when you if any recent games happen you are going to remember the names t20 world cup won by t20 women world cup won by fifa world cup won by uh, those questions are of course they are part of current affairs so just now i told you trophies also they are asking they for example they ask you agarwal cup related to the last question agarwal cup related to Iranic Cup, cup related to, for example, Ashes Trophy between two countries. Ashes Trophy between two countries. Ranji Trophy related to, like that. So, who won the Toyota Thailand Open Women's Singles, Bangkok, in January 2021? Just I'm giving an idea. What is the 
uh, upgraded from the IPL franchise cricket team from Chennai. This is very, you see, this is what I am telling that. Out of 20, 25 questions, some questions are very, very silly, very, very easy. But if you are not at all reading general awareness, not at all reading any current affairs, and you are not going to get the, see, this question, you know, gives you two marks. Gives you two marks. No need to watch IPL. At least if you know what is IPL, where the IPL is going on, what the teams are there. Some girls not aware of this one. Some girls, for example. For this person, no need to watch IPL. That is what I am telling that. So basic information will give you two marks. Two marks will give you job. So Chennai, Chennai team is CSK, Chennai Super Kings. This is two marks question in Taiwan examination. So first edition of the Youth Olympics was held at, I told you. Olympics, so many people know that Olympics. Olympics in the sense, Summer Olympics, Winter Olympics, Youth Olympics, Para Olympics. Four types of Olympics are there. Uh, with which of the following sports, Rio Gold Cup. I told you, they will give the trophy name, uh, cup name, tournament name. You have to identify the sports. Swimming, Badminton, Water Polo, Bridge. The game is Bridge. That's it. Okay. This is what about the question and answers about the uh, general awareness. So my intention is very, very clear. I told you about what is the subject, what is the syllabus, in their syllabus, where they are asking questions. So most of the students are lagging. Where they are lagging, number one, they are aware in the subject because they don't know. They have fear. Once you get into the subject, once you get into the previous questions, once you solve the questions, you will get the confidence, you will get an idea. Okay. So try to have some show interest, intensity, I mean have courage, I mean not the courage, intense, uh, have some interest some curiosity on the subject so that you are able to get the marks. So I hope that you liked this uh, uh, video. It will be very much useful to you. And if you want to get the SSC CGL course and uh, that, uh, the full course, so please download the ACE online app. So please download the ACE online app. And in this ACE online app, and you are going to get the SSC CGL course. Is it clear to you? So thank you very much. Again, I will meet you again with a wonderful session on journal awareness. Thank you very much.